Hi, and welcome to Bending Emacs episode five. In uh, this episode, we'll be taking a look at Ready Player Mode. Before we do that, um, a little recap here. I am now um, just over a month into my video making journey. This is my fifth video. My goal here is to create short and focused videos, uh, and I'm going to need your help growing the channel. My hope here is that perhaps we can give um, Emacs as an editor, but also as a platform, maybe more uh, visibility. Uh, perhaps we can grow the Emacs community. Um, either way, I'm going to need your, your help here. So please subscribe to my channel, like the video, and of course, tell your friends. So what are we going to be doing here? We're going to be playing some music. Now, the backstory here is uh, sometime last year, I wanted to reduce my dependency on um, streaming, um, music streaming services. So I went back into buying music in the hope of uh, playing uh, offline. Now, that's not to say that I no longer stream uh, any music. I still stream uh, from time to time so I can discover um, music. But by far, most of my playback these days uh, is now happening offline and from my text editor. So today, the goal is going to be uh, to play some tunes. How are we going to do that? We are going to be using Ready Player Mode. This is a package I built um, for this very purpose. And my goal here was to create um, or build a player that required little to no configuration. And by that, I mean, this is all the configuration you need. You install the package and then you just enable Ready Player Mode. Beyond that, I uh, wanted it to be um, usable out of the box. I wanted the UI to be fairly intuitive. And most importantly for me, I wanted files to be able to open just like any other file is open in Emacs. Let me show you what I mean by that. Oops, that's the wrong directory here. Okay, uh, so we now have uh, a direct buffer on the right with um, some files. And if we were to place the point on a um, this org file here and press enter, it just does what you expect it to do. It just opens if you place a uh, pointer cursor on an image and open and press enter, it opens as you expected. But if you pre uh, place a point on an MP3 or any other media file and press enter, then you get something like this, which is very unfortunate. Similar thing, if we place it on an M4A, press enter, we get that same outcome, uh, which I wanted to change. So with ready player mode enabled, we can now place a point in one of these media files, press enter, and it just opens uh, as you see here. Um, it automatically started playing because we have, um, let's see, uh, autoplay on. That means you just uh, open the buffer and it starts playing automatically. Hopefully the UI or the interface that you see here um, is not very surprising. Most buttons uh, that you see here do what you would expect them to do. You can use the mouse if you like to press on them or you can use a tab or shift tab or back tab to move your way around um, all the different buttons. Uh, there's also shortcuts or single um, key shortcuts. Uh, so if we press uh, N here, for example, um, we go to the next one. If we press, um, sorry, S, uh, we can toggle um, shuffle. Um, so anyway, back to uh, next and previous. You can see that we can jump between these two. Now there's only two media files in this um, directory. So it just uh, uh, jumps between these two. Ready Player uh, effectively looks for any media files in the directory and ignores anything else. Um, let's see. Um, oh yes, at this point I should probably mention um, Ready Player or um, neither Ready Player nor Emacs actually does any of the playback. Uh, we offload that to MPV. And um, we let the and we let direct buffers uh, carry the list of files that it's currently playing. So um, that's one important aspect of Ready Player. Uh, it really relies on um, direct buffers as its kind of source of, um, of files. So the interesting thing here is that you can create direct buffers in a number of ways. You can create direct buffers by using the find command line utility. You can uh, create direct buffers um, uh, by um, uh, from a uh, playlist file. Um, anyway, if you can craft a direct buffer, however you do it, then Ready Player will, will play your files. So beyond that little bit of configuration, uh, we can also set um, the path or location of your uh, music collection. So once you do that, you can go back um, to a Ready Player buffer 
uh, to this little uh, home button. And if you uh, press that, then it effectively, it opens the collection of your files or your media files. Now I am going to um, toggle shuffle uh, on here. Uh, I most of the time I, when I'm playing music, I just um, uh, or my collection, I just uh, put shuffle on and just let it go through all sorts of uh, kinds of um, music. And if I feel like staying in any particular um, uh, artist, then I just uh, toggle shuffle again, and I just happen to stay uh, with that um, artist. Um, you can search. Uh, so if you press slash from here, uh, you get this little um, uh, uh, prompt and you can fuzzy search uh, for any particular um, artist or song. So if we do, for example, something like this, um, you can open um, a particular um, um, artist. Now, I should also mention, um, if you go, you can see that you can tab your way over to the playlist um, line here and it says music. That's basically referring to what uh, direct buffer it's currently playing. So if I press enter here, it'll just jump over to that direct buffer with the files that it's uh, currently loaded. Uh, let's see, um, album art. So, um, Let's say, um, let's say, okay, let's do another search and we'll find, um, I, I happen to know I have this, um, uh, this particular uh, album here that doesn't have any art, uh, but we can invoke ready player, uh, download album, uh, artwork. It's going to prompt you to, uh, whichever service you want to use for, um, fetching the art, um, uh, itself. I'm just gonna choose iTunes here, and then it proposes, hey, do you want to save this artwork here? I'm gonna say yes. Uh, and so now when I play this particular um, uh, soundtrack, then it's going to be showing me the, um, the right artwork. Um, let's see, uh, semi-headless. Okay, right, so um, if you kind of hide away the, the buffer, that uh, the uh, Ready Player buffer, and you still want to um, work with it. You still can. Um, by default, when you enable Ready Player mode, um, you have a handful of commands available to you uh, from the Control C M prefix. So if I do Control C um, M M, then it toggles the um, the Ready Player uh, buffer to the foreground and uh, away. Now, if I do Control uh, C M N, then we go to the uh, next uh, track. You notice, uh, so I, 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 I refer to this as kind of semi-headless because you can effectively just um, go to the next uh, track and it'll momentarily show you what track you've just selected and then a few seconds later it just kind of goes away. Uh, we can do it for uh, next um, and previews as well. Um, this is pretty much it for today. Um, I, I showed you kind of the basics of the of the player. Um, I'll I'll drop a few um, links to um, some blog posts that I have about this player, uh, where you can learn more about um, its features. But uh, there's also a particular one that shows how to craft uh, direct buffers from a playlist file. Uh, so maybe you can uh, you can do that. You can look at that to see how um, you can craft uh, direct buffers in different ways. In any case, um, it's now been a year since I've gone uh, back to offline playback of music, and I've been fairly happy with it. Uh, Ready Player fits most of my needs. Um, maybe it fits yours, or maybe it can be extended uh, to fit your needs. Uh, I also do wonder if you use any other Emacs player. Uh, please leave uh, a comment and let me know. So that's it. Thank you again. Please like my video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And of course, leave me some comments. I always enjoy those. Thank you.